Well, this is kind of humorous, kind of interesting. I came across this over on the Twit, and the irony, the ridiculousness. Look, I, I've been a Star Wars fan for nearly 30 years at this point. I know there's people out there who've been Star Wars fans for much, much longer than that. And, you know, it's one of those things that, yes, things change over the time, over time, over the years. I get that. We all get that. And Star Wars isn't where it was when I was a fan, when I was a kid, you know, when I, when I was growing up, Han, Luke, Leia, Chewie, R2, C-3PO, those were my friends on the weekends. I would come home from school, throw in a VHS of A New Hope, Empire, and Return of the Jedi, grab my toys, and fly around my living room with those toys along with the movies. That was just so much fun to do on a Friday and Saturday night. And then sometimes on the weekends during the days, I would go over to my friend's house and we would play with the same toys. It was a blast to do and that was Star Wars to me growing up running to the store running to the toy aisle trying to find new figures to buy as I got older the prequels came out it was an amazing time to be a young teenager a 12 13 14 15 16 and you know at 2005 I was 18 19 years old when Revenge of the Sith came out again a great time to be young and experience Star Wars but things changed as I got older. The beauty for me, though, was I got to experience it through my kids' eyes when the sequel trilogy came out. Unfortunately, after The Force Awakens, they just weren't as into it as I would have hoped. Uh, things, you know, started to get really divided, divisive within the fandom, though. People will sit there and say that, hey, even during the prequels, it was pretty divisive uh, with the fandoms. But... Uh, not like it is now. Not like it is now. The thing is, the fans have taken it upon themselves today to try and bring everybody together. Bring everybody together. Now, I personally will not sit there and stand for, you know, throwing hatred at fans. I, I'm Look, if you want to like The Acolyte, like The Acolyte. It, it, it is a terrible show. But I won't yuck on your yum. Like, if you don't want to watch my videos because I'm criticizing the show, then don't watch my videos. That's your prerogative. That's fine. But don't come on my video and tell me that I'm wrong and, and get mad at me for saying and talking about something that I don't like. Just as I won't go on your videos and come and tell you that you're wrong for liking it. Well, it seems like the fans have decided just yesterday, it looks like, to try and push a hashtag. They're trying to push a hashtag. There are more of us. Star Wars is for everyone, they say. United, we will continue to share positivity and embrace old and new fans to this beautiful franchise that has given us so much for decades, they say. It's the best ever, and I love it. There are more of us. That is the hashtag. It would be okay if that's where they left it. And again, I don't want to sit there and say that they're they're wrong. Look, if you want to try and bring fans into this 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 franchise that is just far from what it once was, more power to you. I, I can't get behind that. I can't support trying to bring fans into this franchise right now. I don't want my kids getting into this franchise right now. If they want to themselves, that's fine. I just don't see how they can enjoy it. I don't see how they can get behind things like what they're doing in the Acolyte. How they can push their current agendas and, and get behind it. It's, it's pathetic. It's ridiculous. But the worst part is... Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. The worst part is... They made a video. It matters what side you choose, even if there are, will never be more light than dark. Because even if there can be no joy in the galaxy, then there is pain for every action we take, for every word we speak, for every life we touch. It matters. I gone Jin. Give me a lot of you. Star Wars is for everyone. For everyone. For everyone. For everyone. For everyone. For everyone. Except for those of you who don't like what we like. Keep that in mind. Star Wars is for everyone. Regardless of race. Regardless of religion. Regardless of gender or identity.
it, there was no need to add that stuff into it. That's what everyone signifies. Everyone. Star Wars is for everyone. But the fact that you have to put all this in there, that's where you start to fall into this, well, it is for everyone, but if you don't agree with this, if you don't agree with the identity politics, if you don't agree with the agendas that they're pushing, then it's not for you. Do you see how ridiculous this becomes? Not every show, movie, comic book, collectible, or video game will be your favorite. And that's okay. Oh, it's, it's okay. Not everything will be your favorite. Well, <laughs> social media should be a place where we can share our love for the franchise. Without being attacked for what we enjoy. There is no room for bigotry. Misogyny. Or racism in the galaxy far, far away. That's why when you feel alone in your fandom. When someone attacks you for being who you are. Remember, there are more of us. 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 There are of us there are more of us are there, there are really? more of us there are 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 more of us are there really there are more, more of us there are more of us so they're 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 look i understand what the fandom is trying to do i i understand because i get it i lived through the prequels, which, yes, there was some divisiveness through the prequels. But this is a different type of divisiveness going on in the fandom. It's not about bigotry. It's not about misogyny. It's not about racism. There's no racism going on. This is all created by Lucasfilm. This is all created by the machine to make you believe that there's misogyny, sexism, uh, bigotry, races, all that. They, this is being created to divide the, divide the fandom. They're making you believe that this is going on, first of all. And then you make a video like this that says, hey, it's for everyone. But slyly you're saying, but hey, you know, if you don't have the same beliefs that we have, it's not for you. Like, I'm sorry... I don't agree with them adding in the LGBTQ characters into Star Wars. I don't agree with that. I don't. There's a trans character that's going to be added into the Acolyte. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with them adding in these new cultural uses of pronouns into Star Wars like they did last week. I don't agree with that. I think it's ridiculous. I don't think... It's a mental disability that people can't just accept the fact that they're a he or a she. So the fact that they added that into Star Wars, I think is ridiculous. I don't agree with that. So if Star Wars is for everyone, it's for me, right? But according to you, it's not. And that's the problem with this. Because as well-intentioned as this video is, as what you are trying to make this hashtag and video may be, you are furthering the divide here. All you had to do with this video, Star Wars is for everyone, period. That's it. Star Wars is for everyone, period. And leave it at that. That's all you had to do. But you didn't. You had to go further. You had to push you had to push and make sure, look, there are bigots out there. There are racists out there. There are sexists out there. Yes, we don't want those people out there, but they're, they're out there. And we have to get through this world with those type of, they've been here for centuries, for decades, for millenniums. They're out there. They're not going anywhere. But the more we talk about it, the more we validate them, the more they're going to get what they want. The more you ignore them, the more you just move on with your life. They're going to go away. That's just a fact. That's how it works. This video was 
I guess well intentioned, well intentioned, but it came off not how you expect, not how you expected it to. It's really unfortunate. Star Wars is in a terrible place right now, and this isn't going to go the way that you think. Um, and there really aren't more of you than you think. There are more fans who do do not like where Star Wars is headed. And if you really believe that, if you really believe that Star Wars is where it should be, then you're sadly mistaken. You are sadly mistaken. Uh, the Acolyte is at 13% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's at like, you just getting hammered all over social media. Nobody likes it. Leslie Headland is, you know, going back on what she said about it being the gayest Star Wars ever. Oh, that's not what I said. I said that it's queer with a lowercase cure. I don't know what, what, what she said. I don't know what she was. She doesn't even know what she was saying. You see, she doesn't even know what she's saying because she's going back on what she said because of the backlash of this. They're in panic mode right now because of how bad the accolade is doing because the fan backlash. There are more fans who are against what Star Wars is doing right now. And yeah, there are more fans, more of us, who are disliking what Star Wars is. And that's what matters. Star Wars is for everyone. It is. But here's the thing. There's more everyone who doesn't want the ridiculous agenda pushing. We're seeing it with multiple franchises. We don't want all of the uh, you know political agendas, the soci soci uh, societal, there we go, societal pushing agenda pushing. We don't want that stuff. There's a bigger crowd that doesn't want that than does. And we're seeing it now. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's crazy? I think it's crazy. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Look, again, it was well intend well intentioned, but it's not going the way they want. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. Make sure you join a member. 2.99, that's it. 2.99 to be a slavs Geek Tribe member, $2.99. That's it. I'm going to start doing like two to three member only videos. Not sure what they're going to be yet. Maybe throw some comments what kind of videos you would like to see if you're a member. Maybe. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think. With all that stuff said, I will catch you all later. Also, oh yeah, real quick, start doing live videos next Monday. Keep an eye out. All right, guys, I'll talk to all of you later.